Hello and welcome once again. This is Reflex Image, and today, unlike some other video that I usually drop relating to picture editing, today I'm about to introduce to you a video generating platform. It's called Vudu AI. You're going to be able to generate video of many imagination. I actually tried out some pictures I have on my system to generate some videos, and it actually came out more nice than I expected. So, what is Vudu AI? Vudu AI is a generative platform for video, you can actually generate countless of video there. Though it's a paid plan, but trust me, it's actually worth the hype. So what I'm saying so far might not do justice to what it actually does until you actually try it out and see if it's going to work with advantage or not. So the pricing is also included. I'll be, talking, I'll be walking you through everything I know so far about video AI and how it's going to help you out in video generation if you're a content creator. If you want to bring your ideas to life, you have a concept in mind you want to carry out in form of a video, it's going to help you do that. And it's going to do it in a way that you won't actually believe. And also, if you are the anime type, you love animations and stuff, you can also generate anime using Vidu AI. The name of the website is vidu.ai. And the beauty about this right now is that you can actually get the mobile version for it. You know, having PC is not an excuse for not getting this software. So I'll be walking you through how this software actually works and how it generates videos for us. So once you open the platform, it's called video.com. So this is the landing page of the website. Next thing you just need to do is to try video and it's going to do what redirect you straight to this interface. So now here's the beauty about this software. The beauty the thing I like about the software is as soon as I came here now, I don't have any idea of what I want to create. I can actually scroll through people that have actually created video with it in the past and I will be able to derive any ideas I want for it. As you can see, you can generate animation, you can also generate normal images. So it's very very simple to use and there are three options you can actually use. The first option there is reference to video. So let's click it and see what it's actually all about. So the moment I clicked it, it opened up an interface for me. So we are going to give you a prompt video, a tutorial video on how to actually do it. To actually know the prompt you are going to input in to get what you want. So if you are just starting and you don't know how to make it a prompt, you can just do what? Watch the tutorial through and it's going to teach you what and what you need to do. But for me right now, I'm just going to script, skip this procedure. Then I'll do what? The first thing I'm going to do is to do what? I'm going to click on images because I have a rep we are talking about reference right now, reference to video. So the first thing I just need to do is to add a reference there. So probably I'll add an image. Then I'll go to what? I'll go to my desktop. I'll pick here, I'll pick an image here. I'll pick an image. I'll pick an image. So let's say I love this image over here. I'll click on, click on open. I'll wait for it to load up. So the next thing I will do right now is to do what? I will add another reference. Let's add another reference. So this time around, the reference I'll be adding right now, I'll be adding another background. So let me see. Okay, I think I have a background I love in mind right there. So I'm going to add this background as my second reference. Wait for it to load up again. So next thing I'll do, once the image loads up completely, I'm going to input the prompt over here. So I'm going to input the prompt. Add image two, image one to image two, image two background, and uh, make the camera camera angle rotate thirty degree, thirty degree to the left. So this is just a random prompt right now. So you can actually go extreme miles to actually do what to generate different type of things you want. So let me just add a little bit of emphasis to it and make sure the floor is surrounded with candles. Then I'll do what. Let's click on the pro mode right now. So what the pro mode does is that it actually optimizes the prompts you use to actually give you high end what result of what you want. But you'll be able to generate this what you'll be able to make it of the pro by making purchase to some of their plans like the ultimate plan. So now you're going to select the what the duration of your video. So it's already on five seconds right now, and I'll leave it there. Now this is for what the resolution you want it to be. If you are not on premium, you won't be able to get 180p. You'll be getting like 720 or 480. So the next thing is you need to do is to do what select the frame you want your picture to be in. So I think I want it to be in the portrait mode, which is 9 by 16. I'm going to click on it. So how many variants do I want to generate? So I think I will generate about three variants so I can know the amount the type of the type I'm going to pick from. So that's going to generate for me. Then I'll do what I'll select what I want out of the three. There's no way I'm going to get one I love out of the three. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on the realistic option because I want it to be realistic. As you can see, I want it to be realistic. So you can select multiple options here, like this. Select multiple options, the size of the shot, the camera angle, the focal length. So there are so many things you can actually do from here. So which is already set for me because I've actually inputted the prompt which I want for me. The next thing I just need to do is to do what? Click on generate. So generating this right now is going to cost me 60 credits because I'm actually trying to generate three variants. If I want to generate one, 
it's going to cost me less credit so as you can see it turned back to 20 so i want to generate three variants so i can see multiple options to choose from then i'll click on what i'll click on generate so the next thing i just need to do is just to wait for it to do what to load it up for me and see what it's going to give me this might actually take a while to complete the process depends on how fast your internet connection is so just give it time and let it do its thing and boom look at what it just gave us right now and i am loving this so let me view one right now you can see look at what it did for us it actually changed the background for us perfectly number one and number two it gave us the motion i want for the video now look at another variant right over here right now you can see right now you see what it did for us this is actually great and look at the third one also again it still created a portrait version of it also again can you see it's changed the background and actually inputted the background we wanted to input for us so, and i actually did not go extreme my to imp input the prompt i just give it a basic prompt right now imagine what you can actually do with it imagine you inputting a movie scene from another from another movie and actually telling it to generate yourself into that movie scene it's going to give you something very very perfect you can just take your time and actually do what trying it out and you're going to get a hold of it so as very very simple as that and i love the edition it did for me all i just need to do is to download download without water mark because i'm already on a premium plan so i'll just click on my download right now automatically going to do what it's going to download for me so the next thing right now i'm going to do is to go to the other version which is the image to video so i'm going to click on the image to video version also again so we all know what this does if you have been watching my videos before you we would have seen what it's actually about so it's similar to the first one also because we'll be using reference image so if you have any picture you want to actually bring to life probably change the posture change uh, the way the person is looking change some certain things inside probably add emotion to it i think this is the best option for you all you just need to do is to go to where your image is located click on your click on the first image if you have like two you can click on the boat but i'll be using one picture right now so i'll look for the picture i'll be making use of so Let's see which picture we can use. So I'll be using this picture in particular right now, which I just uploaded right now. So what I wanted to do is to do it. Just like the first one I did, I just want the camera angle to actually do it. To shift a little bit and to do it and for her to change the leg that she's crossing. So what I just need to do right now is to input a prompt I want based on the content that is in the picture. So what I just need to do is rotate the camera, camera in slow mo, in slow motion to let's say about 45 degree degree to the right right and make a cross a leg to the other to the other direction to the other direction so here's the image right now she's crossing the leg to the left hand side so what i want the picture to do right now is for me to do what so actually return the camera to either left or right direction and let's add another prompt to it and maintain a face positioning i don't want her face to actually show i want the face to remain that way her face positioning positioning so what i just need to do right now is to click on the pro mode what i want the pro mode to do for me is to actually help me improve my prompts to use ai to do what to improve my prompt for me and to do what to make the generation very very slick so i'll just click on the pro mode right now as you can see and i'll wait for it to load up so right now ai is optimizing my content for me so the next thing i'll do right now i will just read the prompts and i'll see if there's any error or any adjustment need to be made there but it's actually perfect so the option right here is going to be realistic under the style you can just click on the style it's going to load up the format for you right now so if you want to go for animation if you want to change the picture to animation you can change to animation but i want realistic so probably in the next video i'm talking about working about the animations and stuff and also 3d rendering like a blender software so the next thing i'll do right now is to do what the motion level i'm going to put it at medium because i don't want the motion level to be that uh, to be that large so the short size, what should I use for the short side? I think medium shot is actually okay. It's actually okay. So the focal lens, I'm going to use a standard. Next one, if I try to use a fisheye lens also, it's going to work perfectly for me. If you all know what fisheye lens is all about. So camera angle, you can actually change all the settings there to actually fit what you want to work with perfectly. So that being said, right now, I will be using the video Q1, which is a premium one right now. And the video is still set to five seconds. And my resolution is going to be 180p. So this is the resolution if you are using a premium version of it. So the movements, I'm going to leave it not to. The creative style, the style preference, I'm going to leave it on creative. So under the variant, as you all know, I can't generate one variant. I prefer going for like three of the variants. So I'm going to do what? I'm going to click on create. 
So it's still going to be using 60 of my credit for me and I'm going to wait for it to load up for me. It might take some time depending on how fast your network is. So while our file is being creating for us right now, so let's go to the pricing and see what the pricing is all about. So to actually do what purchase credit, just come to where the credit is over here and do what? Click on the purchase credit. So it's going to load up all the plans for you right now. So you can actually buy 800 credit for $10. You can buy 2400 credit for $28. You can do what? Buy 4800 credit for $50. And for each picture or for each generation, you are going to be using 20 credit. So this is actually a very, very good plan. And if you have to buy like 8000 credit, which is $75, you are going to be getting 25% of, of that. And for 12,000 credit for $95, you'll be getting 70% 70, of for it also. So, so on and so forth. All you just need to do is just to click on pay now and you proceed to payment. Then you are good on the credit level. And if you also want to subscribe to it also, if you don't want to be buying credit for the subscription plan, you can do what? Click on, click on the subscription plan and you're going to load all the plans that are there for you. So we have the yearly bill and also have the monthly bill, depending on what you actually want. But the one I'm currently using right now is the ultimate plan. So it actually gives me, there's no limitation for me while using this software right now, as you can see right now. So I can generate high quality, high resolution video, and I can upload 300 a reference in a month. Compared to this one, I can only upload just 100 in a month. And the next one is the one of the 50. I can upload 50 reference in a month, which is actually not okay for me because I do generate videos a lot. So the pricing to me is actually fair compared to what it has to offer. And boom, look at what it actually gave us right now. So let's preview each and every video and see if it gave us what we want. So yes, one of the reasons why I love actually doing what I love to use multiple variants, like doing about three or four at a time. So I can actually see the one to select from. So like the first one right now, it actually did it perfectly for me. It did what I want for me because I do not use a picture of she or her facing forward. So it's not going to get 100% of the details for me. So I can actually choose another one. But so far, so good. The generation is actually perfect. Now look at the camera angle. Look at the camera rotation. You can actually improve more prompts. Like she's sitting at the edge of the chair. You can just do many things. There's no limitation when it comes to this AI. It's going to actually bring your creativity into life. So this is what we actually do these days after we edit any of our picture. We do what we generate a video for Reese to make it look very, very nice. And this is actually giving me all what I want. So there are so many things you can do by yourself and make your picture come out very, very nice. And jumping to the next one, here's my most favorite aspect of it all, which is the text to video. What this does is actually make me do what it make me bring my ideas to life my fantasy when it comes to animation world and actually movie industry so it's going to make me bring that to life so now i'm going to input a funny prompt right now so you can actually just use any prompt so now generate an a video of dc spider uh, superman in mcdonald mcdonald i don't know if i got the spelling eating donuts eating pie or eating pizza and holding a carton, a carton of pizza on his hand. And so there are so many things that I can actually do here. This is just the basic prompt I'm using right now. So I can either go for the pro mode, I can just leave it this way, and I'll make sure it's doing what it's an actually video QI. So I'm going to do what still generate about three variants for it also again, and I'm going to do what click on generate and see what it's actually going to give to me right now. So let's wait for it to load up. All you just need to do is to do what? Input the prompt. What you think he might probably just wake up is a particular money. Ah, I feel like to actually have this in my collection or I feel like posting this in my collection. Just go bring out the prompt you actually have in mind and type it there. You can use the promo to actually do what? To enhance the prompt you want to actually generate and see what it's actually going to give to you. So now let's wait while our video is being generated right now. And um, boom. <laughs> Look at what it generated for us. Look, look at this first variant over here. And look at the second variant. Look at the third variant, which is still actually loading up. Very, very simple. This is actually just a simple prompt. You can actually go extreme mile to type whatever prompt you want inside. And it's going to generate hyper realistic ones for you. If you want to do for the animation version also again, you can actually just input the animation prompt into it. And it's going to generate just that for you. Look at what we're able to generate with just a single prompt. It actually gave us what you want right now. So if I if you're a storyteller or a content creator and you want to actually be inputting some actually some videos into your sequence, you'll be able to do that in no time. Very, very simple and straightforward. 
So what you just need to write, do right now is to head over to our website or get the application on your mobile phone to be able to access this great software. So see you guys in my next tutorial. Reflex out.